Shalom. Before well, I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kaf, the Dash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. And salutation to the Akia, the fellow believers, and the uh, fellow laborers that's out there pushing his word day in and day out. Um, just the brother Shaquat Gabal from the Great Millstone Charlotte camp coming at you with another lesson. And um, basically, uh, the lesson I'm going to get into today is, you know, you got brothers putting up videos about, you know, Esau, you know, you know, you know labeling, you know, this is why we call you the devil, man. And when you look into the word devil, which go back to the Latin Diablo, meaning deceiver, you know, the Esau, Edom, you so-called white people, are the main deceivers, man. You to deceive the whole world, but thinking that you're the, the uh, higher power, man. Thinking that you're the uh, righteous people of the earth, man. While alone, you promoting wickedness, man. Pushing wickedness throughout the earth, man. Destroying nations, taking over land, you know. Pushing your 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 wicked philosophy, you know. You know, uh, um, going to war, you know, causing wars uh, 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 on foreign lands, man. You know, enslaving uh, nations. All type of wickedness, man. Destroying the earth, pushing the, pushing GMO food, man. Destroying the, you know, the air, the water. You know, there's so many things that, you know, brothers don't bought out on, on you devils, man. Starting from your elites on down to you average so-called white people, man. You Edomites, man. For all the wickedness that you've been doing for 500 plus years, man. Especially in the times that we are now, man. How you got your whole agenda, you know, purpose of your whole agenda is to Destroy the, the, the population of the earth, man, so you can rule, man. You know, pushing your new world order, man. Pushing your RFID chip or the NFC chip, which is the mark of the beast, man. Your mark, man, and which is going to be the next current uh, currency once this uh, global financial economy crash, man. Because you elites, with you, cent you central bankers that rule the earth, man. You got the whole earth, you know, the whole world in debt, man. Now... You want to push your agenda to, to clean off those depths of these other nations and these countries that do business with you. You want to hit the reset button on a on on a um, financial you know status, and, and you want to start over by implementing the chip, man. You know and rule the world in that way, man. But who the world calls Jesus Christ and God, Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, man, they're gonna come back and stop your 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 your, your evil de demonic plans, man. You no. Know? That you think you go to um, um, establish, man, you know, and Yahweh Shai, you know, which is a so-called Negro, a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah, man. He's coming back to bring your kingdom down, man, right along with the rest of you heathen nations that's all um, uh, in league with the so-called white man, with these elites, man, with, the, with Edom, man, you know. And the Lord is coming back to bring, you know, the ones, you know, to put the ones on top, the, you know, the, the, the unforgettable book unforgettables, man, the desire ones that's of this world, and that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. That's why you starting to see this word prosper, man, of men, of the Lord, prophets, and, and his people awakening, man, the elect, man, you know, coming back to the power of Israel, man, Yahweh Bashim Shah, which is the power of, of all things, man, you know, he's coming back to establish his righteous kingdom, man, with his people, man, you know, starting off with his elect and bring you so-called white people down, man. Right along with the rest of you heathens, man. That, that, that daily oppress us, man. They're trying to keep us from being a nation, man. So this is um, the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse um, 1. The vision of Obadiah, this say the Lord's power concerning Edom. You know, which is this, you so-called white people, man. This is the book of Obadiah, man. Obadiah only had one, you know, um, book. Or, or chapter out of the whole entire scriptures or the Holy uh, Bible, but it's very important, man. Cause this is uh, breaking down the you know the the way of you so-called white people, man. You Edomites, man. And this is how the Lord is gonna uh, judge judging you uh, um, through this scripture right here, man. You know for future uh, for near future judgment, man. Or your place falling down. You going into slavery under the uh, Hebrew Israelites, man. So I'm going to continue on, man. This is a very important book, man, even though it's only one chapter, man. 
Um, the vision of Obadiah just say the Lord power concerning Edom, you so-called white people, man. Mainly you elites, man, and the whole nation, man. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and the ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. It's talking about the Lord gathering up these other nations, man, to come against you Edomites, man. To come against NATO, to come against uh, um, uh, America, you know. And these other nations are going to go to war with, uh, with NATO and America and Israel, those fake Jews down there. You know, the other nations like China, you know, uh, Iran, you know, uh, Iraq, uh, 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 Japan, India, all these other nations got, that don't got nu nu nuclear capabilities are going to go to war with America, man. Even Russia, man. All those Russians are, the Russians are also Edomites, but the Lord having a division among the Edomites, man. And the Lord is going to use the Russians, man, to also to be the lead, the lead nation that's going to bring destruction to America by thermonuclear fire, man. Um, continue on. And it said, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Time, so, you know, meaning small among the heathen, man, you insignificant, man. You know, the Lord said that you greatly despise, man. But look at all these, you know, these other nations, they are, you know, even though they, some of them are in league with you, but they only in league with you because you're in the power seat, man, because you got to, you know, run the world through your money, you know, you know, you, you, you got your, you know, your, the, the, the biggest military or the, the one of the strongest military, and now these nations are coming against America and despising them, man, you know, they want to drop the dollar, man, leave off, leave off in the number one current, when it's the dollar, and move on to their own currency, man, and leaving America on the on back burner, man. Forgetting about America, man. You know, because America is suffering, man. America is collapsing, man. You know, and these uh, other countries are despising America, man. You know, because, you know, you know, what you got Donald Trump, you know, want to put America on top, man. Keep America on top. And, and, and do all these trade wars, all these sanctions. Now these other countries and nations are despised, man. They despise against you Edomites, man. In particular, you Europeans and you Americans, man. You know, even in you... You Israelis, man, the despise of the, the Arabs and the East Indians over there in, uh, in the Middle East, man, you know, the Africans, the Hamites, the real Africans, because the so-called Negroes, Haitians, and the West Indians, we are not Africans, man. We are Israelites, man. The Africans are a whole other nations, man. They are Hamites, man. And even them are coming against you so-called white people, man, you know, trying to genocide the, your, your race down there in South Africa, man. Why? Because you are the devil, man. Everywhere you go, man, you you know, you, you bring destruction, man. You know, I'm going to get that real quick. Everywhere you go, man, that's why the Lord have these nations to come up against you, so-called white people, man. You Edomites, man. You know, this is um, Habakkuk verse um, 4. I mean, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Yeah, yo, your soul, man, you mean your spirit, man, of you Edomites, man, is not upright in you, man. All you devise and push is wickedness, man, you know. But the Lord said, the just shall live by faith. But who is the just, man? The Israelites, man, starting off with the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third. Um, continue on, they say, ye also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. So you which is your wine, man. Your 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 toxin wine, man. Which is these philosophies, man. Pushing homosexuality, man. You know, pushing on uh, um on uh, uh, transgender, GMO food, you know, on uh, um your democracy, you know, your 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 politics, man. That that leading these other countries, you know, on uh, on uh, to come against you, man. And you cause why? Cause your philosophies and your wine are to destroy these other country systems, man, you know, you know, the pushing your, your, um, your, your financial system, man, America, man, you know, that is also wine, man, you know, the, 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 the financial ways of America, man, you know, that which leaving these other countries in debt, man, you know, they don't want to do business with America, man, because it's having a, a consequences on their country, man, you know, so your wine, man, done, 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 done basically done, Got this whole world into the state of confusion, man, and darkness, man, and wickedness, man. It's full of lies, man. Um, and the reason, 
He said, yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. He's proud, man. You Edomites thinking that you're never going to be taken off, man, taken off the top, man. You're going to be ruling forever, man. You're going to complete your enterprise, man, your new world order, man. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to stop that, man. Once he returns, when Yahweh Shai returns with his holy angels, with his army, man, with all those chariots, what the world call UFOs, and they're going to come back and, and bring your cana down, man, and set up the Israelites, man, you know, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But to you on, and it said, Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home, who enlarges his desires as hell and is death, and, and is as death. So anywhere these Edomites go, man, when they take these military, man, they go to other countries, and what happened, man? You know, they always, the other countries always end up in turmoil, man. Look at Iraq, man, Afghanistan, Syria, you know. All these other countries, you know, even over here in America, man. Before the Edomites came over here, man, who was ruling America, man? Who, who land was this, man? The, the, the Latinos and the Native Americans, man. You know, and they came over here and they bring hell, man, which hell represents death, man. You know, not no 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 um, place where where is there where is there fire, man? Where you burn forever once you die, man. That's a, a a myth, man. You know, that's a fairy tale, man. That don't that's not in the scriptures, man. When you see the word hell, it simply means death, man. And that's what these so-called white people bring, man. In the in the time they set up their military, or they want to go take a, a country over a nation over uh, 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 resources by force, man, you know. Um, continue on. And it said, and cannot be satisfied, but gather to him all nations and heap unto him all people. So this is the Edomites, these elites, man, they're not satisfied, man. They didn't got all the riches in the world, you know. On majority of the, of the earth, man, other of the lands, got control over these nations by the, you know, their banking system. You know, their philosophies, but they're not satisfied, man. You know, that was the scripture said they heap unto him, they heap to unto they stuff all nations, man. They want to control all nations, man. And they mainly want to do that by the way of the new world order pushing that RFID chip, man. They mark of the beast, man. But the Lord is about separation, man. It's about his people being on top, man. And you other nations, mainly you Edomites on the bottom, man. And that's what Yahweh Shah is going to come back to do, man, once he returns, man. Um, back in uh, Obadiah, um, verse, Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 3, the pride of thy heart, thou hast, have, have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that say in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, that how you eat of my stank, man. You know, you're thinking that uh, nobody is going to take you out of power, man, that you're going to rule forever, man. But the Lord, you have about you know, going to bring you down to the ground, man, for that for that, that proud, uh, hearty uh, uh, mindset that y'all Edomites have, man, you elites have, man, thinking that you're going to rule this world forever, man, you know, but you're not, you're not, is the Lord going to take you out of power, man? Um... This is the book of Psalms, um, 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. That's the council, that's the point, man. You're thinking that your, your inward thought, man, your mind, you either might, you either might, man, you elites, man, thinking that you're going to rule forever, man. You know, you so-called... I mean, white people over here in America thinking that America going to keep going on. You know, that America's not going to fall. Even though they got all types of different, you know, sources and news outlets and people, you know, coming out, you know, on uh, whistleblowers and people that's, you know, up uh, uh, in America that know about the financial situation and, and, and you know, exposing the elite's agenda, how they want to, you know, crash this place and set up, set up martial law and everything, man. You know, but in their mind, they think that once all hell break loose, America falls. You know, and once, you know, they, cause they know that on um, World War Three is um, inedible, man. They know it's about to um, um, come to come to pass. You know, but in their mind, they think that they're gonna rise from the, you know, the ashes, man. They think America's gonna win this World War Three. 
you know, NATO going to win this, you know, war right along with America, and they're going to just keep going, man. You know, they end with thought, man. They think they're going to keep going forever and ever, man. But it is not so, man. The Lord got a, a, a the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, got a, set, a certain time for you devils to fall, man. And we are approaching that time, man. The Lord chose Israel, man, not you Edomites, man. You know? Um, for you devils, man, you got a lot to pay for, man. You know? It says, uh, Job chapter 20, verse 4. Knowing, knowest thou not this or old, since man was placed on the earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. You know, so the Lord, you know, is going to bring you down, man. The triumphant of the wicked is short, man. I mean, they rulership, man. Why is it going to be short? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not dealing with these heathen nations, man. Especially you Edomites, man. You know, all you Edomites do is push wickedness, man. Death, confusion, man. You know, so the Lord is going to come back and, and set up a kingdom, an everlasting kingdom of, of righteousness, which are the Israelites, man. But we are the Lord's chosen people, man. And the Lord is going to put his spirit on us to be righteous, man, forever, man. And establish the law, statute, commandments, man. You know, in our kingdom, man. And you heathens going to have to follow our, our laws, man. And in righteousness, man. Ain't going to be no more wickedness, man. Confusion, man. You know, you heathens pushing your own agenda, man. Trying to establish your own ways, which are, are full of death and wickedness, man. That leading to sin, man. You know, not going to happen, man. Your triumphant, your rulership is short, man. It's only for a moment, man, compared to the, the time to your how about you was shot, man. You're not going to keep going on, man, in your wickedness, man. And it said, though his excellence mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the cloud, yet he shall perish forever like his own done. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? I mean, you're going to, you know, be, although, you know, you in this high you know, state of power, man, you Edomites, man, but it's going to come a time, man, when you're going to be taken out of power, man, and like I say, man, we're approaching those times now, man, when Yahweh Shah is going to return and set up his kingdom, man, and have his people starting off with the elect rule over you, man, and you're going to go into um, captivity, slavery under the Israelites for a thousand years, man, you know, and, and, you, and you're going to be brought out of power, man, real soon, man, um, This is Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So it's a, it's a, 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 a boundary that you Edomites can't pass, man. You know? Only reason why the Lord let you go on for this long, man, so he can show his power, man, through his prophecies, man, or uh, uh, why he's going to destroy you, man, for all your wickedness, man. You know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah controls everything, man. And he let you do all this wickedness so he can justify uh, 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 bringing your wicked kingdom down, man. You know, you know your, your, your time is up, man. Your boundary, is, that, that boundary that you have, you're about to hit it, man. You know, you're about to uh, come to that, that no crossing line, man. You know, the Lord already got your days determined, man. He already appointed your portion, man, to rule and to be brought out of uh, um, power, man. You know, soon you go crash the society, you know, this World War III um, pops off, and you implement that RFID chip, that's going to be a, uh, the, the closing curtains on your kingdom, man. And Yahweh Shah is going to rule, man, right along with his elect, man, uh, of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, to set up and establish the kingdom of Israel, man, the kingdom of Yahweh Shah, man, or righteousness, righteousness man. Um, back in Obadiah, Chapter um, Obadiah 1, verse um, 4. Though thou uh, exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, say the Lord. So that what's going to happen, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring you down, man. Although you exalt yourself as that eagle, man. Are you looking to the symbols of these Edomites, man? Are these, are these different, you know, um, countries or, or canals that they, they have, you know, you see they symbolize or they symbol or the eagle, man, the America symbol, man, the eagle, the Germans, the Russians, you know, the, 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 uh, um, the, the NATO, man, 
the European system, man. You know, well, we're not Russia, because, you know, Russia, you know, got the bear, but they still eat them, right, man. You know, but let's go back, man. That's a, uh, a sign right there, man, showing you that who the Edomites are today, man. That they sign was going to be the, the evil, man. Who promote that, that symbol more than any other nation, man. The Edomites, man. The so-called white man. You know, the white people, man. So the Lord said, although you set your nest among the stars, I mean, you got your, your satellites out there, man. You, you, know, your, you know, your space station. You know, your airplanes. You know, your, your different, you know, war jets, man. You know, you, stem, you, you know, your weaponry out there in, in space, man. You know, but the Lord said he's going to bring you down, man. Because your whole thing is when Yahweh Shah return with his um, uh, angels, the chariots, you're going to fight against the uh, fight against the Messiah, man. But you're going to lose, man. Yahweh Shah or Yahweh Shah is the, the king of kings and the Lord of lords, man. He got the um, power that Yahweh gave to him to rule this earth, man. You know, and he's going to bring you heathens down, man. When, when you go fight against him in this um, World War Three, man, you're going to be brought down. And the Lord is going to put you in captivity, man. You're going to have to serve Yahweh Shah and his people, uh, Israel, man. And the devil is not going to win this battle, man. You know? Um... This is um Revelation chapter seventeen, um verse thirteen, and it says, uh, "These have one mind and shall give their power unto the strength unto the beast." It's talking about NATO, man. You know the European system, man, right along with America. You know, you know, and, and all these other countries, man, that that that's going to be fighting in that World War Three. You know. They're gonna gonna fight against the Lord when the Lord Yahweh shall return, man. Thinking that it's a you know, thinking that it's an alien invasion, man. You remember back in the early um nineties and the late eighties, man, you had President Ronald Reagan saying that if there was a, a foreign or a invasion or alien force, will we all put our differences to the sides to fight that common enemy, man? And he was talking about Yahweh Shah, man. Cause they know that the Lord is coming back, man. By the ways of the UFOs, which are the chariots, man. They know that they're not green um, monsters, man. Or green creatures or gray creatures with big heads and wide eyes, man. They know that they are dark-skinned men, man. That look like the so-called like so Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Which are the Lord's uh, um, uh, image, man. So Yahweh Shah is a dark-skinned man. He look like a so-called Negro, man. And his angels, too, man. That's going to come and fight this, this war against these heathens, man. Once he come at and, and, and bring these nations down and establish his kingdom, man. You know? So this is um back in the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse um, 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and king of kings. And they that are with him are called the chosen and faithful. So when Yahweh shall return, man, they think they're going to defeat the Lord, man. You know, so the Lord going to, you know, show them that he's the supreme being, man, that he's the one with the power, with all power, man. And when these heathens fight against the Lord, man, they ain't going to stand a chance, man. The scripture city not going to prevail, man. Yahweh shall is going to beat their armies into dust, man, by the ways of those, um, no missiles, uh, not the missiles, like the ways of the lasers, man. They ain't going to stand a chance against Yahweh shall, man. Um, this is Revelation chapter 19 verse 11 and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse that white horse represents those chariots man that Yahweh shall coming back in him and his angels man you know horse represent power man and the you know, word white mean um, pure man he coming back with that pure angelic power man to take over his earth man you know that they bring the earth to put it back in his position, man. Because it's his from the beginning, man. And he's going to give it unto his chosen people, man. Israel, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And it said, And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And he, and in righteousness, do he judge and make war. So the Lord, Yahweh Shah, coming back to 
judge and make war, man. The real image of the Lord, the real character, man, uh, 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 who the world called Jesus Christ, man, Yahweh Shai, man, in the Paleo Hebrew, man, he's coming back to bring war, man. Not this false image that they portrayed of Cesare Borgia, because that's who that is. They're calling themselves the, the Lord Christ or the Messiah, the anointed one. That's a false image, man, of Cesare Borgia, man, uh, that you white people put up, man, to deceive the whole world, man. That's why we're calling you the devil, man. You know, but the Lord is going to show his real image, man, his real self, man, once he returns with those angels, man, and he come back with that, that, that power, man, and they say he do judges and make war, man. So these people in the world, man, they thinking that the Lord coming back with all love to bring all nations together. No, the Lord coming back to shed blood, man. He coming back to bring judgment, man, and war, man. Um, verse 12, his eyes was at the flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had her name written that no man knew but himself. And he was clothed with the vexed, dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. And that's just, you know, titles, man. But the name of the Lord is, you know, Yahweh Shah, man. You know, in the, in the Paleo-Hebrew, man. You know, but the point is, man, he's coming back to bring war, man. And he's coming back to take it down all you nations, man. That's why he said he had many crowns on his head, man. He's coming back to take all you heathen nations out of power, man. Starting with the so-called white race, man. The white people, man. You Edomites, man. From the elites on down, man. For you elites, man, after the destruction of America, man. Because Yahweh Shai going to, you know, have these nations destroy America by the missile. But right before that, man, Yahweh Shai is going to return and bring war to this place, man. And he's going to deliver his elect by beaming them up into those chariots, man. You know, the elect that scattered amongst all nations, man. You know, from the four corners of the earth, man. Wherever they are at, man, the Lord is going to have his chariots delivered on, man. You know, and right before that, I mean, right after that, man, you're going to have those missiles take place, you know, simultaneously flying and hitting their targets, man, and it's going to destroy America utterly, man, but after the, you know, the dust and the, and the war is over with, from the, from the, the missiles, man, you know, your house shot is going to come back with the elect and, and, and set them up on the, you know, on the earth, the rule, man, and one of the main things they're going to do is put you on heathens, starting out with you elites, man, you Edomites, you super um, central rich bankers, you're going to go into slavery, man. And all you heathens are going into slavery, man. Not just only the so-called white race. You Chinese, you Arabs, you Japanese, you Africans, the Hamites, you know, you East Indians, you know, the sons of Japheth, which are you Samoans, Hawaiian, you know, you know, you Pinkman, uh, uh, Aborigines, you know, all you heathens, man. You know, the, uh, uh, um, uh, the Syrians, all you heathens are going into captivity, man. Under uh, Yahshua Allah, man. Under the nation of Israel, man. The Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And that's what they're afraid of, man. That's why they want to destroy us as a nation, man. But it's not going to happen, man. Back in the Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 5. If thieves come to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Will they not have stolen till they had enough? If the great, gather, great gathers come to thee, well, they not leave some grapes and how these devils is, man. They full of greed, man. They greedy, man. They never have enough, man. You know, they take it all and more, man. You know, they never satisfy, man. All you have about Shemya was is going to destroy them, man. They greedy. You know, they, 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 they full of wickedness, man. They full of pushing, you know, on, 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 on death, promoting death. You know, so the Lord's going to return the favor on them, man. He going to shed their blood, man. You know, for all the wickedness that they had done, man. You know, our brothers, like I said, brothers putting, you know, videos up about, you know, why we call you the devil, man. You know, we putting those videos up, man, because you, you can't escape your judgment, man. And you can't hide the history, man. You think you can sweep all the wickedness that you've done, that you're doing, and what you've done in your past under the rug and saying, forgive and forget about it, man. It's not going to happen that way, man. The men of the Lord, man, mainly the men of great millstone. Those in the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh we're going to expose you devils, man. And keep exposing you devils until Yahweh Shah return, man, to this place fall, man. You know, all the wickedness you've been doing, man. Having us enslaved, you know, uh, uh, pushing um, our men to be homosexuals, our women to be lesbians, giving our women rights over us, man. Taking our children from us, man. You know, turning our children to, to monsters, man. You doing that, you know, all that through your media, man. 
You know, it, it, it's systematic design how you on um, on um, how you destroying the nation of Israel, man. The Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, using putting us as gator bait, man. You know, or uh, or uh, 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 having us as um uh, like we are animals in a zoo, human zoo, on uh, on a uh, 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 bus, man. You know, hitting the nigga. You know, with the with the you know back then playing games with us, man. Hanging us, lynching us, castrating us, man. All type of wickedness that you do to our people, man. You know, doing all type of experiments on us, man. Pushing all type of drugs in our neighborhood. You know, pushing the guns. And you are you the one that promote the violence, man. You know, even though we got wickedness of our people, two two thirds of them that that straight wickedness and don't care about you how about you y'all was shot, but if, they are a product of, of you Edomites, man. How what you what you have done over the years, man, to our people, man. You know, and Jake mostly doing this because they they lost and they full of rage. You know, and they in the ghettos in the hood. You know, but they'll say that oh, you, they got opportunity out there, make something better of yourself, man. How can we you know the whole world is against the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Here you push drugs and guns in the hood and make them. You know, saying that they the reason for the crime rate, you know, then you throw them in jail. And once they, you know, get out of jail, you know, and, and trying to find a job, there's no no job or, 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 or career for them, man. You know, even though this ain't our rest, you know, but this is our punishment for us going off against you. How about some y'all was shot? He used you devils to punish us. Now the Lord is going to uh, afflict y'all, man. You know, because the Lord said, even though he was wroth with us, but you Edomites and you heathen, afforded the affliction, man, you know, in the time that we supposed to be so-called free from this place, man, you still got your, 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 your foot on our neck, man, you know, this whole system is geared up and against uh, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, that you got in your agenda to trying to destroy us, man, with Cain after plan, you know, Rex 84, Agenda 21, all type of agendas and, 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 uh, that you have. The, the plans to, to keep the Negro and Latino Native American and that Negro, Latino, and Native American men, the Israelites, to be from a nation, man, to destroy us, man. So you how why you how was shot. The power of the world, man. The power that created everything, man. You know, they, they, they are with us, man. And they're going to show their favor to us, man, once they deliver the elect, man, instead of the elect, man. You know, because you want to get two-thirds of the Negro, Latino, and Native American. But the Lord had designated them to be put to death for their wickedness. And he's going to forgive the elect, man, and have mercy on the elect and set up the elect uh, in the kingdom of Israel, man. And even the two-thirds, they're going to come back, man, through reincarnation by being the offspring of the elect in the kingdom. And they're going to get busy on, on you devils, man, once we have you Edomites and the rest of you heathen nations, man, in captivity, man. Because you're not going to get away, man. Um, verse 6, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 6. And it said, How are the things of Esau searched out? How, how are his hidden things sought up? So, so, so the now the Lord is at the point of exposing you, man. You know, by the ways of the prophets, we out here, you know, on, on bringing, breaking down your strongholds, man. You know, all your wickedness that you push him and all the plans you want to try to push and keep in the, in the dark and the secret and have nobody to know about it. We know it now, man. You know, because through the, well, first of all, through the spirit and power, you have about you, I was shot. Through these scriptures, we breaking it down, exposing you for the devil that you are, you know, showing you that you're the Edomites and the, the cast of riches of the Edomites throughout the scriptures. But the Lord also have this internet, man. You got your own people blowing on uh, whistleblowers uh, coming against you, man, exposing your agenda, man, coming out with different, you know, videos and, and you know, medias and you know, news, you know, uh, of, of, of how you devils plan on doing what you know doing. You know, all the past history that you have done, you know. The Lord allowed us to give us access, you know, to the Internet and different history and different news sources so we can uh, take that information, you know, apply it to the scriptures and, and bring them out and expose you devils, man. You know, that's why you want to do away with the Internet, man. Trying to demonize the, 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 the Israelites, man. You know, trying to demonize or uh, uh, come against the people that speak against your agenda, man. You know, but you have about Shemal Shah already got you exposed, man. And you can't do nothing about it but take your judgment, man, and get ready for slavery, man. Get ready for, for your downfall, man. Verse um, 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee 
have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. But uh, there is none understanding in him. So these people, these other nations that were once in league with you, Edomites, man. You know, now it's becoming a time of, of, of splitting, man. All of them are, are, are looking to, down upon you, man. You know, they, they, they are coming against you, Edomites, man. The whole world, man. You know, because you are the, the, the wicked, man. You are the cancer of the earth, man. And the Lord even going to have these heathen nations, you know, turn on you and go against you, Edomites, man. You know. And it's going to be, you know, major race wars, you know, uh, uh, clash wars, civil unrest, man. You know, nations against nations, kingdoms against kings. You know, and you Edomites, especially you Americans and, and, and the ones over there in Europe, man. You know, Edom as a general, a general, uh, uh, is going to get it, man. You know, general, they, all the Edomites going to get it, man. All nations against you, man. Especially the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. You know, the lack of, but you got two-thirds of our people want to uphold the Edomites, man. Want to love master, man. The Lord going to put down the death, man. But not uh, on, 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 for, for trusting in these Edomites and, and, and hoping it on to their sisters, man. You know, God, people don't know nothing but what the Edomites taught them, man. You know, so you saw you are the council of the earth, man. And you mislead our people for years, man. You know, to keep us lost as a nation, man. But the elect is not to be... Going to, not going to be beguiled by your lies anymore, man. They're going to wake up and come back to the true understanding of the scriptures, man. That's why you want to do away with the Bible, man. You know, stop the you know, the um, the word from getting spread out, man. You know, because you already know once the Lord wake awoke his people, man, it, it, that's your downfall, man. You know, so that's what's going to happen, man. And all these nations are coming against you, man. Um... Verse now eight, shall I not in that day say the Lord of power, Yahweh Bashemah Shah, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau? That wise men are talking about you elites, man. You the one that's on top, running and ruling everything, man. You Rothschild, you Rockefeller, Dupont, Getty, Kennedy, Bush, the McDonald's, you know, all the ones that ruling, man. Yahweh Bashemah Shah is going to take you out of power, man. He's going to you know, uh, take your empire from you, man. You know. Um, and thy man, mighty man of Timon, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mountain of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So the Lord bringing slaughter to you, Edomites, man. See, 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 ain't no fun now, man, once we telling you through the scriptures, man, that the Lord's going to pay you back, man, for all the wickedness you had done. Everything was cool when you were slaughtering the, 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 the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. You going over there bombing these other nations, even though they insignificant. With us, man, because they are our enemies too, man. But still don't change the fact how much bloodshed we had done in this world, man. You know? But 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 when we telling you that the Lord's going to pay you back, you know, share your blood as a nation, now all of a sudden we wicked, man. We ain't right, man. You know? The Lord's not hearing that, man. You how about you now shout about to bring great judgment on you Edomites, man. Um... And that was coming, man. Ain't no way you're going to get around it, man. How about seeing how shot got everything prepared already, man? Um, This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So shall ye not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed in the land, but by the blood of him that sheddeth it. So the Lord is going to shed your blood, man. You eat them like the father's whole earth, man, especially America, man, with the, the blood shed of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Even from, you know, 400, you know, 300 years ago, even until this day, man, you still shedding our blood, man. And you gonna you know, could, you know still do it once you bring your martial law. You know, once all hell break loose, man. You know, the, and, and and Lord have these uh, Edomites and these heathens put two thirds of you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans to death. 
the blood is going to definitely be defiled, man. It already defiled with the blood shed of our people, man. You know? So, so it, the Lord said it's not going to, the land can't be cleansed by the blood, but on, by the only way it can be cleansed is by, uh, um, by shedding their blood, man. And the Lord is a, a righteous power, man. He's balanced, man. So you devil's not going to get away. You think that you're going to do all this wickedness, you know, murder our people, then all of a sudden, you're going to, you know, get a free ticket into the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, or the Lord is going to forgive you for all your wickedness that you had done all these years, destroying his people, blaspheming his word, his image, you know, causing all this, this you know, chaos. But, but, but somehow you're going to get get into the kingdom, man. It don't go, it's not going to work that way, man. The Lord is going to give us payback, man. This is, um, uh, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Yahweh by Shemiah was shot to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So the Lord is saying it's a righteous thing, man, that he's going to recompense, pay back uh, all the, the uh, 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 bloodshed that you did against the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The Lord's going to return it on your head, man. The Lord say uh, a man reap uh, what his soul, swole sold, man. So what you sold, man, you sold, you know, wickedness, you know. You sold, you know, all your, all your, the deceivingness, you know. But the main thing, we want to get you back for the, all the wickedness that you have done. And we're going to, you know, share your blood, man. That's in the scriptures, man. And they don't want to hear that, man. They don't want to hear that, man. But they're going to hear it anyway, man. And it's going to happen, man. It's already prophesied, man. And the Lord is a just power, man. Especially what you've done to his people, man. It's over for you devils, man. So you got to mind with just get prepared, man, for the judgment that's coming, man. You know, live it up. You know, that, 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 you know, that, you know, the Lord said that cup coming to you, man. That judgment is coming to you. And the Lord doing it now, man, putting all these curses on our enemies, man. You know, you devils are going down, man. You're not uncomfortable in your kingdom how you used to be about 70 years ago, man, 80 years ago, man. Now you're catching hell, man. You know, diseases, you know, you, you know, you got the most diseases now, illness, you know, High rate amongst, you know, the cancer, you know, you know, you're not producing like you, you used to, you know, high rate of, of suicide, you know, strung out on, on opium, all type of different drugs, man. That's the Lord paying you back, man. And this is this and, and this is just the beginning, man. This is Lamentation chapter four, verse twenty-one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that the well is in the name of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. So that's what's going to happen, man. You know, that that, that, that cup means the judgment, man. The wrath for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is coming upon you Edomites, man. You know, it's coming upon you Edomites now. And it's going to come upon you in the near future, man. Once the Lord establishes his kingdom in Israel, man. After the Lord moved you gutter rats out of that land. You know, you fake Jews, man, you imposters, by the way of nuclear missiles, he's going to set up the, the righteous people in that land, man. You know, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Our land, man, because you stole that land from us, man. That's why you the devil, man. And the Lord is going to have that land destroyed and be rebuilt by, by, by the real Israelites, man. And you're going to be there um, building it up for us, man, because we're not going to be doing no more um, slavery, man, hard bondage, man. It's going to be the time for you heathens, man. Especially you, you Edomites, man. We already built everything for you heathens, man. This past, in this time of time, like right here. This lifetime, man. But the Lord going to reverse it, man. He's going to give us rest and put you heathens to work, man. Um, And to say the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away in captivity. Counsel, the Lord is about to well, uh, uh, take back our captivity, man. He's doing that now by raising up the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect, the 144,000, the prophets, and the one-third, man, of the men, women, and children, man, that great multitude, which are Israelites, man, you know. 
you, that's the only ones you're looking for right now, man. Starting off with the elect, like I said earlier, man. Two thirds gonna have to die, man, for their wickedness, man, for their rebellious, not coming back to their power and believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you know. But want to follow the ways of the wicked, man. So they gonna have to die and come back into the kingdom, man, through the seed of the elect, man. But our punishment is over with, man. You know, just a couple of more prophecies, man. Judgment that the Lord is gonna put upon our people. But eventually, man, the Lord gonna lift that captivity off of us once finally when Yahweh shall return, man, and set up the kingdom of Israel, man. And we gonna be no more death, suffering, and, and slavery for us, man. We're gonna be ruling, man. Forever, man. Ain't gonna be no short reign. And you heathens come back in the power. No, man, our kingdom gonna last forever, man. You know, for the next billions of years, man. In, in, in deputy, man. In, in, you know, eternity, man. Verse, um... Lamentation chapter 4, verse 22. And it said, He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Is that what the Lord is doing, man? He's visiting the Edomites, man, with all these different plagues, man. Discovering your sins, man, getting exposed, man, by the way of, of the prophets, man. You know, even you exposing your own self, man. But mainly by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, through his prophets, man. We bring it down. Your, your, you know, your, your, your stronghold, your kingdom, man, from your, from your lives, man. And now the Lord is about to visit you by judgment, man. And he's doing that now, man. Especially when Yahweh shall return, man. Um, verse 23. So you shed our blood, man. The Lord is going to return that favor on you, man. Right along with the rest of these heathen, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 35, um, verse 5. Because thou hast had the perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force or the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So, it, you know, the Lord had a set of time, you know, when we came into slavery, you know, built up this kingdom, man, you know, with the Native Americans, you know, you stole the land for the Native Americans, the Latinos. You know, you know, America, Central America, and South America. You know, you did it by the, the bloodshed, man, by the force of the sword, man. You know, even to the time that our so-called captivity supposed to have an end, because you're saying that we're supposed to be, you know, we're not in hardcore slavery no more. You know, physically, but mentally, we still are, man. Because you still got our people got to work for you, man. We still got to get up and work new jobs. We still got to pay taxes. You know, we still got to wait for a paycheck every uh, week or uh, uh, two weeks or even a month, man. When we're supposed to get paid every day before the sun go down, man. You know, at the end of the uh, uh, work day, you know, we still got to, you know, pay, you know, uh, be subject to payments, man. Paying bills and everything, man. Coming to you to the want of all things, man. We don't have no power, man. You know, if we're supposed to be so-called free, why you ain't allowed, our, allowed us to get our land back, man? You know, why you kept our nationality from us, man? You know, showing that you still uh, have us in your hand, man. See how about you shot remove us, man, you know, from 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 your from your captivity, man, you know, that we under, man. And it said, therefore, as I live, say the Lord power, I will prepare blood and I will play I will prepare and prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. This will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut from off. Cut off from the him that passes out and him that returneth. So this is talking about you Edomites, man. Mount Seir is a place where you Edomites dwell, man. You know, Mount Petra, man. You know, the caves, man. Because that's what you call yourself, caves, cave dwellers, man. That's what the word called caves to go back to, man. Because you originally from the caves, man. You the real uh, cave man, you know. And the Lord says he's going to prepare you unto blood, man. Your whole nation, man, you know. All you Edomites, man. Only way you, you Edom is going to be able to get out of this if you're a so-called heathen. If your bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, man, you're a confused face, man. You know, because you got our people scattered amongst all nations. And, you know, we left our seed uh, even amongst these heathens, man. So you're going to have uh, 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 a lot of our people that's going to look like these heathen nations if they bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, man. You're an Israelites, man. They're going to be you no know, say, man, are they going to be the inheritors of the kingdom, man, you know? But for you original Gentile, you original 
heathen, you know, which the word Gentile means stranger or foreigner, and that's you heathens, man. You know, if your bloodline go back to a, a heathenistic, uh, uh, like a, uh, uh, on their father's side, like a, uh, the white man, the, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, the African, you know, if your bloodline go back to he, uh, heathen, you are a uh, uh, heathen, man. You're not an Israelite, man. You're going to go into slavery, man. But the point is, man, you devil's going to pay, man. You really uh, heathens, man. You real Gentiles, man. Um, and it's over for you devils, man. You know, brothers, you know, going hard, man. Ever since you try to, you know, so-called expose us on your news media, man. Ever since then, man, brothers, the fire was the spirit, the fire of the spirit, man, man, uh, was turned up, man. Brothers, and even going harder, man. You know, you can do all you want, man. We're gonna keep pushing to you, how about you shot? Establish us as a kingdom, man, of praise in the earth, man. And you devil can't do nothing about it, man. All your lies, all your schemes, man, it's over with, man. The time for righteousness, man. Time you devils to, you know, just, you know, go ahead and quit, man. You might as well, man. You know, because it's going to be a, a shameful defeat for you, man. The Lord is going to disappoint you, man. Um, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the Lord is going to return that favor, man. Since you put us in captivity, it's like you, right along with the rest of these heathens, because you not well, you, you, you Edomites were not by yourself. The Africans, the Arabs, and the rest of these heathen nations had a the, uh, part in uh, in the slave trade uh, of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Man. But you Edomites are the main one, man. Because you financed and you've been the uh, the head the head nation that that, that that did that, you know, to do it to us, man. Right along with these you know, heathens, man. That song. In the, eight of the third chapter, um, breaks down how you heathens came up against the nation of Israel and wanted to destroy us as a nation, man. And you done, you, you did that, man. But now the Lord, through the Spirit and power, you have about you know, shot. And through the, 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 the true teachers, man, of great millstone, they elders, man, you know, and, and different brothers out there, man, we are being awoken, man, through the Spirit and power, you have about you know, shot, man. That we're not lost anymore, man. That we, that we are coming back into our inheritance, man. And you devils can't do nothing about it, man. No matter how long you're trying to hear the truth and keep the truth from us, man. You know, uh, whitewashing our images, you know, putting all the history books, the scholarships that you have, the arch uh, archaeology that you have, man. You know, keeping them hid, you know. But eventually, the Lord, you can't hide the spirit of your high body from your shot, man. The Lord is going to expose you devils, man. And he's doing it now, man. And he's letting us know. That we are the rulers, man. That we are the Lord, his chosen people, man. So you're going to go into captivity, man. And the Lord said, you're going to be killed with the sword, man. That's your, that's your judgment, man. The Lord said, a false balance is an abomination to him, man. So the Lord is going to give us, you know, the, the, the power to, to return the favor on y'all, man. To bring you and put you in the captivity and suffer the things that we've been through, man. And the Lord said, double unto you, you heathens, man. So you gonna y'all he just gonna be in a bad state, man. Once you how about some y'all shall set up the kingdom of Israel, man. You know? So um you know, basically, you know, that's it, man. You know, just getting on these devils, man. You know, it's the spirit heavy, man, cause the cause the devils think you know, that you know, ever since the time, you know, they trying to demonize us. A couple of weeks ago, man, on CNN and Fox, you know, you got a lot of those groups that they put up there, man, are, are, are false prophets, man, promoting militant, you know, talking about zealots, the Lord, you know, the dude from H.O.I., talking about the Lord been a zealot, you know, uh, uh, and his men was zealots. No, nah, we not coming in that fat, man. We coming in just preaching the word, man. We ain't got to take up no arms, man. That's not our script. That's not our power, man. That's carnal. Carnality, man. I, the only thing we got to do is push this word in your how about Shem Yahweh Shah is going to fight for us, man, through the spirit, man. And eventually, we, it is going to get physical, but we waiting on spiritual power, man. Because Esau, Edom, his, his, uh, uh, the, the so-called white people, they blessing this, they military and they guns, man. 
you know, their carnality. But the Lord is going to give this man spiritual power, man. So one thing we got to do is wait on the Lord, like Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah said, man. He said, wait upon him till you rise up against the priest. And the Lord is going to give us power out of this world, man, that these devils can't fathom, man. That their weaponry ain't going to um, 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 destroy us, man, or put us to death, man. You know? So you got a lot of these false camps that promoting that, man. They're going to fail, man, because that's not what Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah the ones that promote that militant mind style, man. You know, forget them, you know. But if you messed up, man, when you put the, the real men of the Lord up there, man, you know, the uh, the brothers from the San Francisco Bay, man, when you demonize them, when they push that Edomite woman down, that so-called woman down, man, not having the, the full details of what really happened, how she attacked it done, but you turning it all back on around on them, making them, making them seem like they the bad guys, man. When all they doing is out there, uh, exposing you devils, man, for your wickedness, man. You get upset, man. You know, they get upset and we're trying to, you know, come at the man of the Lord, but when the Lord put the spirit on his men to defend they self, and they become the so-called victim. Now, you know, now, now we the bad guys, man. You know, after all these years, what these devils have done to us, they don't want to pay, man. But it's coming, man. It's coming real soon, man. It's over for you, Edomites, man. The whole nation, man, men, women, and children, man. You know, you didn't, you know, regard us, man. You know, you you took our men, women, and children, man, and, and slaughtered them. Did all type of manner of wickedness to us, man. So the Lord's gonna return the favor on you, man. All you Edomites are going into slavery, man. Right along with all you heathens, man, but mainly Esau, man. Cause we we got the biggest beef or problem with them, man. The Negro, Latino, the Native Americans against you so-called white people, man. And that's how the Lord set it up, man. Jacob, Israel versus Esau, Edom, man. That's how it goes, man. Um, this is on Job chapter 4, verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So this is going to happen, man. All this wickedness that you've done again. Against the Lord, people, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, people, Israel, and what you've done against the Lord, man. Like I said, man, blaspheming his word, turning his book, and, and, and making it a lie, man. You know, saying that you the Lord chose the people, but do everything contrary to the scriptures, man. You know, pushing all your wickedness that the scriptures, the laws tell us not to do, man. So you reap all this, you know, you, know, you sow all this wickedness, and the Lord's going to uh, let you reap it, man. You know. You, you know, you, you, you all this wickedness that you done did, man, the Lord's going to justify it by bringing judgment on you heathens, man. Mainly you Edomites, man. You know, the brothers keep fighting, keep pushing, man. You know, keep, you know, exposing these devils, man. You know, they can't, you know, they can't handle the truth, man. How they say you, you can't handle the truth, man. You know, not all these years that they finally catch up to your, your wickedness and we telling you that the Lord is about to bring judgment on you Edomites, man. Starting off with your least. All the way down to you average so-called white people, man. On you Edomites, man. And the rest of you nations, but mainly Edom. You know? Because cause, cause now your time is up, man. Now you don't want to hear about it, man. Now you don't want to, you know, pay for your for your wickedness, man. But no matter how much you, you know, cry, man. Sigh and cry. You know, you know the Lord is going to bring that judgment upon you, man. Because the Lord hasn't forgot what you done to the nation of Israel. And what you're still doing, man. What you got planned on trying to due to the, uh, the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, man. But the Lord going to raise up that standard for his elect, man. You know, and, and, and eventually, man, Israel as a whole, man, in the kingdom, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we're going to have you devils and the rest of you heathens on the on the, on the the bottom, man. And we're going to rule over you, man. But just basically, man, your time is up, you know. You know, your time up, man. So brothers, keep exposing these devils, man. Keep pushing this wisdom, knowledge, your understanding of the scriptures, man, these prophecies, you know. Letting them know the, the history, you know. Nicole, we almost out of here, man. These prophecies are coming to pass, man. You only got a couple of prophecies to go, man. Lord willing, this be the year or or, or, or whenever you hire about Shinya was shot, got, we got the time set for us, uh, us returning them to power, man. You know. So we ain't got that known, man, through the prophecies, man. And to these devils, you know, trying to come down with that wrath, man. But it's over for them, man. It's over, man. So, so Israel... You know, the men of the Lord out there, man, the, the fellow laborers, man, that, that hope for elect, man, the house of David, man, keep pushing, keep fighting, man. I'm praying that this lesson, you know, man, edifying to you, Akim, you know, you Akwa out there, you know, the ones that's tuning in to the, you know, the men of the Lord, man, 
the ones out there pushing his word, man. You know, looking for the return of Yahweh Shah, man. Waiting for that and hastening that the day of the Lord return, man. You know, so you know, you know, till the next time, you know, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakaf, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well through the doctrine, through the spirit and the, and the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And salutation to the fellow laborers, the ones that's in the ministry, man. They're, they're the elect of Israel, man, the house of David. Shalom.